hi guys welcome to my channel in this video we are going to solve the questions about the reinforced concrete and the question will be uh, analyzing a shear reinforcement of a column so uh, let's solve the question before we solve the question if you like these videos if you want to see more of the videos please subscribe and share with your friends if i did anything wrong and anything bother you please uh, specify on the commands and i'm going to try to fix it to make the videos and the channels for you and for all of us better so uh, let's pass the question in the question now we can see we have a column and we have uh, the um, the height of column is three meter and we have moments at the both sides and we are going to analyze the shear reinforcement for this column so the first i'm going to uh, determine the fctd it is 1.6 over 1.5 and 1.06 megapascal and uh, I'm going to also calculate uh, the design strength of uh, shear reinforcement okay so this is uh, 220 over 115 equal to 191 MPA megapascal okay and now also i have to calculate the steel area of the steel wrap look at here this is steel wrap steel area of the steel wrap sorry it's going to be as equal to pi multiplied d square over four it's going to be a pi multiplied 10 square over 4 equal to 78.54 millimeter square. Okay. And now uh, let's uh, check uh, what is the leg, uh, what is the leg of, sorry, what is the uh, leg of, leg of shear reinforcement, okay, shear reinforcement. So. For example, now you have you have this cross section. When I uh, cut this cross section from here, and you're going to see that one, two, three, and four legs. Okay, so it's going to be something like that, and is equal to four leg. Yeah, okay, four legs. And uh, ASW, it's going to be equal to n multiply AS, and this is going to be four multiplied seventy eight point fifty four. And this is going to be equal to 314.2 millimeter square. Okay. This is the area of the uh, shear reinforcement. So, and now you can see we have a, a compression load. Compression. Compression. Sorry. Yeah. Compression load. And this is going to, we uh, are going to make a comparison that the, our cross section is going to behave like a column or a beam. Okay, so we are going to first calculate ND over AC, and this is going to be equal to uh, 1.67. Ah, sorry, I'm going to calculate for you. This is going to be something like that. 250 kilonewton is going to be converted to the newton and then i'm going to divide the area of the uh, cross section the area of the cross section now you can see 300 multiplied 500 300 multiplied 500 and this is going to be equal to 1.67 megapascal and this is greater than 0.5 megapascal so this is this is a column right so then if it is a column and the force is compression so I'm going to uh, calculate a coefficient 1 plus uh, 0.07 multiplied ND over AC okay and this is going to be 1 plus 0. sorry yeah, 0.07 multiplied 1.67 equal to 1.12 now we got it also so uh, let's uh, check the shear capacity but uh, you know this is a column so we don't know uh, which way the force will be uh, applied okay so maybe this direction and maybe this direction so we're going to make our check uh, for both directions 
So it's going to be, uh, for example, shear capacity. Shear capacity for BW equal to 300 millimeter and H is equal to 500 millimeter. So let's write the formula. We are equal to 0.52 multiplied FCTD and multiplied BW and multiplied D and also multiplied the coefficient that we uh, calculated before uh, and uh, plus ASW over S multiplied FYWD and multiplied D. This is for shear reinforcement, okay? Shear reinforcement. And uh, for D, for columns, we are going to use, okay, use H minus 2D prime for column. And uh, D prime, I guess you uh, know from here, D prime is 35. D prime is 35. I actually don't need to write here, but you can see from that shape, okay? This is D prime. Well, this is D prime. So let's uh, apply the formula for uh, BW equal to 300 millimeter. So we are going to write it here down. 0.52 multiplied FCTD 1.06 multiplied 300 and uh, multiplied 430 and uh, multiplied the coefficient that we calculated 1.12 and plus 314.2 the area of the uh, steel reinforcement over the spacing of the reinforcement or reinforcement sorry yeah spacing of the reinforcement so this is spacing this is the let's check this is the area okay so the spacing is this one yeah it's symboled uh, symboled uh, with s so multiplied 191 and multiplied 430. This is the design strength of uh, shear reinforcement. So I guess you remember 220 over 115 and this is equal to 191 MPa, megapascal. Okay, so this is this one, FYD. And uh, now it's okay, the formula is that. So let's calculate the result of this. It's going to be a VR for this side. It's going to be equal to 338 kilo Newton. Now we calculate for the first side. So let's uh, check also for the second side. Okay, I'm going to uh, write it down here. Uh, for example, for BW is equal to 500 millimeter and uh, for H is equal to 300 millimeter. So I guess you remember VR formulation. So I don't need to write the formula again. Look at here. This is the formula. So I won't write it here again. 0.52 multiplied 1.06 multiplied 300 and multiplied uh, 200, sorry, yeah, 500 multiplied 320, one second, yeah, 500 multiplied 230, and uh, multiplied the coefficient that we calculated before, you remember this one, okay, this one, this is 1.12, okay, and uh, plus the area of steel, 314.2 over the spacing of the reinforcements, 100 millimeter, okay? And multiply 191, the design strength of the steel, and multiply it with 230 as D. And from this multiplication, we are going to obtain as VR equal to 209 kilo Newton. Now we obtain the both uh, sides uh, uh, shear. So now let's uh, calculate the design shear. It uh, occurs because of, so it occurs yeah 
by the uh, moments. Let's check here. I'm going to show you. Yeah, for example, this is the uh, moments that comes from the building. Okay. So now we are going to calculate the shear because of this design uh, moments. So it's going to be basic, actually. You know it from the static or structural design courses. So one four five plus one six five over three the length of the column, and this is going to be equal to one or three point three kilonewtons. So now we got also the design shear, and we are going to make a comparison with the both shears that uh, occurred for uh, at the both sides. So it's going to be something like that. We are equal to 338 kN and we are equal to 200, sorry, 209 kN greater than we design, okay? BD equal to 1033 kN. So this is okay. But it is not enough. We are going to also check for the maximum uh, shear Okay, so it's going to be something like that for maximum shear. V max for columns. 0 0.22 multiplied FCD and multiplied AC. The section area, okay? And this is going to be 0 0.22 and multiplied uh, FCD. Do you remember what is FCD? Design strength of the concrete. Let's check what is the uh, type of the concrete that we are going to use. This is C20, so it's going to be, let's write it here, C20. So that means that FCD equal to 20 over 1.5, and this is equal to 30.3 uh, megapascal. So, sorry, 13.33, yeah. And 13.33 multiplied uh, 300 and multiply 500 and this is going to be equal to uh, 440 kN okay so now let's uh, check that uh, wait, let's, sorry, let's make a comparison between the uh, design shear and also the maximum shear that occurred uh, in this uh, section okay so design shear is VD is equal to 103.3 kN and it is smaller than, much, much smaller than Vmax equal to 440 kN. Okay, and now from this you can say that that's the brittle failure is prevented. Okay, so now this is okay. So let's uh, make a check for the steel wraps also. Now we uh, calculated all the uh, shears and we made all the comparisons. Now everything is okay. And uh, this is actually from uh, TS500, okay. And uh, this is the specification of Turkey. Let's check for the steel wraps. We are going to check for the minimum row, okay? Minimum row W for the steel wrap. 0 0.3 multiplied 106 over 191. This is the design strength of uh, steel wraps, okay? This is FCTD. Equal to 0 0.017. And we are going to uh, determine the draw for the both sides, okay? So ASW over S, the spacing of the um, steel wraps multiplied BW. You know, the both sides are different. So the, when BW changed, the row is going to be changed. So 340.2 over 100 multiplied 300. It's going to be equal to 0 0.01. And also for rho, the, the other side, ASW over S multiplied BW equal to 
314.2 over 100 multiplied 500. So uh, this is going to be 0 0.0063 as the ratio of the steel that uh, for both sides. And uh, uh, let's uh, make a comparison. Look at here. This is raw mean. This is raw mean. And the raw mean is equal to 0 0.0017. And so, yeah, smaller than raw. 0 0.01 and raw also smaller than 0 0.0063 so we can say this design is okay for the stirrups ratio so let's check for the spacing also okay this is going to be for check check for spacing it's going to be something like this S spacing must be smaller than minimum width of section. Okay, so let's check what is that. Now it is 100 in the question, and the minimum width of uh, our uh, section is 300 over 3. So now you can see this is okay. So we can say that the design acts okay. The shear reinforcement is okay for this. Uh, section uh, this one for this one for check check for raw okay this one for the space now the question is solved uh, if you like these videos if you want to see more videos please subscribe and share with your friends if i did anything wrong please warn me i'm going to try to fix it